it's Meg. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. I'm super excited to be back on my channel. It has been so long. We've had so many changes and I'm going to link a catch up with me vlog style video underneath this one. So if you are interested in knowing where I've been and what we've been up to, definitely go ahead and click that. But I don't want to get into that in this video in case you guys just want to see this bag. So Today, um, I went to a job fair in Philadelphia. It was way smaller than I anticipated, but still met some really cool people and one awesome girl. She was super, super sweet, and I chatted with her a little bit actually about YouTube and stuff. She was so nice, and if she starts her channel and I find it, I will link her in the description box because she was super cute. And she's telling me her and her friend are starting a blog and thinking about YouTube. So I told her to go for it, and then I really love doing it, and I think she'd be great for it. So that was really cool to get to meet her. Um, but I want to share with you guys what I have in my bag. This purse was perfect for today. Um, so I went to the job career thing. Um, we did move back to Pennsylvania, so it was in the Philly area. So I'm super excited to be back home. Um, but this bag worked out perfectly. This is my Henry Bendel. I think this is called the East West Tote Bag. I got this for Christmas from my parents as one of my big Christmas gifts this past year year and I have loved this bag so much more than I actually thought that I was going to. I knew it was a really pretty bag but when I first got it it was super stiff and structured which you can see it still is. Um, it's basically a gigantic rectangle but honestly you guys this bag has been perfect. It's held its shape beautifully and I think that it just looks very nice sleek and I feel like it's very professional without being super boring. It's black, it's gold, um, the handles might be a little bit much for some people if you're really not into anything like shiny or blingy or kind of over the top. But for me, I love kind of a Chanel inspired handbag. And to me, this gives me kind of that vibe with the chain detailing, but the leather on this purse is so soft. I love that this is understated. It's not a huge logo. It's just a gold disc. I think it's really pretty. Um, and I think it's really professional. But what I absolutely love is the detail of the feet on the bottom. I have quite a few handbags that cost more than this one did and it, they don't come with feet and I think it's really kind of annoying. I love that this bag gives you those gold feet on the bottom in case you do set your purse down, you're not putting the leather on a surface. Um, so this is what I have inside of the bag. I don't typically keep anything on these two little outside slip pockets. You could fit your phone in there, um, but I just keep them empty. Okay, so I'm going to set this right here and just pull stuff out of it. Hopefully you guys won't mind me like turning. Um, I'm in a new bedroom. Like I said, we did move back to Pennsylvania, so this is where we're staying right now. Um, and I love it. I think it turned out really cute. I'm going to do a whole video on it because we completely revamped the entire thing. My dad did such a good job on it. Um, so I really love how it turned out. But anyway, the first thing in my bag I just pulled out are my sunglasses. I love these sunglasses so much. They are my new favorites. They're a little bit different for me. They're kind of like more um, trendy and modern. I found these on Neiman Marcus. I got a great deal on these sunglasses. They were on sale and honestly, they are my favorites. Like I absolutely love these. And I want to say I got these maybe seven months ago. So I've had these for a while now. And honestly, they're my go-to frames. I wear these all the time. Absolutely love those. Um, I'll link the style number in the description box. If I can find them, I'll put a link to them. They are older, so just keep that in mind. So I'm pulling from this back compartment back here. Um, the next thing I have is just my file facts. I like to keep this with me, especially when you know, going to a job fair or something like that. If you need to write something down or you want to keep your business cards or something like that handy. Um, I just find it super easy to have my file effects on hand in case I want to write anything down or you would like obviously need to look at your calendar. So I just have the black one. I really love this. Um, I've used this for a long time now and this one goes to July. So I'm going to have to get new inserts for the month of July but it's really really great it's really simple I find I can keep everything I need in here but it's compact enough it'll fit in a bag like this and it won't make it super bulky okay so the next thing I have in here is just this Givenchy little zippered pouch this came in my big um, Antigona tote bag I took it off the little strap from the tote bag and I just keep all my cards and cash in here 
Um, so inside it is kind of a mess, but I like this because I can easily grab it, throw my phone in here, and then I can just go into a store. I can fit my keys in there. Inside, I have this amazing card case. My sister got this for me for my 29th birthday. So I just, this was so nice, like so thoughtful. She just went completely over the top. Um, I absolutely love this card case. She knows I love all things Gucci, but don't have anything except the sunglasses from them. Um, I absolutely love this card case. It's beautiful, soft leather. I love that it goes with everything, but not everything is like all the same brands. It matches my little pouch, but then it goes perfectly with my Henry Bendel bag as well. You can fit a bunch of cards in here, and it's just really beautiful. Like the stitching and the little gold emblem on the front is just really, really pretty, and I absolutely love this. So I keep my cards that I use all the time in here. And then inside of this little pouch are just like, like you know, club cards, Starbucks cards, a J. Crew card, um, receipts, a Mickey Mouse sticker. We took my daughter to Disney World before we moved from North Carolina. An IKEA receipt, Lowe's food, which I don't need anymore because I don't think they have them up north. I've got to clean this out. Just a ton of junk, some change, and no cash. What else is new? All right, the next thing I have in this big pocket are just my car keys. I keep those obviously in there. I don't need to have them in the ignition to start my car, I just, but I need it to unlock it, which is kind of annoying. Um, okay, so the next thing I have is this zipper pouch bag here. And in that pouch, I just keep some hand wipes, like some wet ones. I use these all the time, even if I'm out doing something and my daughter's not with me, um, she's in school or something like that, I always keep these on me because pumping gas, I mean, going to the grocery store, going to the gym, you just never know when you're gonna wanna like wipe your hands down. And for me, these wipes are much more convenient and just more effective than the loose like hand gel um, antibacterial things. I just think these are way better because you can wipe down surfaces or you can wipe your hands too. So I love those. And then this is just the little tag for my bag. Um, it's just like their little Henry Bendel card. I just keep it in there. I actually didn't really realize that was in there. All right, so that's it for the back section. In this main front section, like I said, I was at a career kind of job fair. So this stuff is not typically in my bag, but I wanted to show it to you because this is the perfect size if you want to fit a MacBook like a MacBook Air fits perfectly in this bag and it doesn't weigh it down too much. But you can also fit a regular size piece of paper. So inside I just have a few copies of my resume and it looks just like that. Um, yeah, so a couple copies of my resume. Obviously you can put them in a pad folio or something like that. My husband will usually take, if he has meetings or interviews or something like that, he'll take like a leather portfolio but for me I like being hands-free it's easier to like shake someone's hand and talk to them and you know you might not want to give your resume to every single person you speak with because not every job is going to be the right fit especially at a career fair so I don't feel like you should feel pressured to hand it out to everybody um, I feel like going to a career fair or a job fair it's you know you want to know as much about the company as they want to know about you because it might not be something that you're interested in let alone not qualified for. So um, I took about 10 with me and I only handed out three resumes and I handed them out to things that I was interested in and I felt like I was qualified for. So um, you always wanna have some resumes on hand, business cards obviously. And I got this really nice thick paper and I got a couple compliments on my resume as well. So I think that definitely made a difference. And even though this is kind of a cream color, it stands out. I could not believe how everyone just had their resumes printed on regular computer paper. So this is a heavier thickness paper and it is like a cream color and it was the only one of that color and I did get some good feedback on that. Um, so I would suggest going to Staples or Target even. I got that at Target and just getting a nicer quality paper to print your resumes on. I have some business cards from some of the booths that I talked to, some informational packets and brochures on some of the jobs that we're hiring. So I'm definitely gonna keep those, look over everything. Okay, so the next two things I have are these interior pockets right here. And the first one, I just have my cell phone in 
And I just have this cute little case on here, but I have my license in there, so I'm gonna take that out. Um, I have this really fun little Parisian themed case. I got this at Anthropology. This brand, um, Rifle Paper Company, they do paper supplies, but they also make really cute, thick, nice plastic phone cases. So I will link my favorites down below. My sister has a super cute one as well. It has like banana leaves or palm leaves on it. Um, and then the next thing I have, in the pocket, I don't have any other devices, so obviously I'm gonna have lip products in there. So I do have a pen, obviously I would wanna maybe write something down. I keep this with me all the time. I got this at Barnes and Noble, it's super cute and girly and I love that, but it's a nice like weight, like it's a nice pen to write with. Um, I have my favorite lip liner, this is the Jordana Tawny. This amazing lip maximizer, my sister-in-law Jenny gave this to me and I use it all the time. I keep it with me. I will put it on just by itself or I will top a lipstick or lip gloss with it. It slightly plumps your lips and it has this amazing minty feel and I absolutely love that. The next thing I have is Lorac's Liquid Lip Pro in Soft Pink. That's a matte one. And then my favorite Lorac Alter Ego Lip Gloss in Mademoiselle. So those are my favorite lippies and I like to keep them with me just obviously for whenever. Okay, so the last thing I have is this zipper compartment in the middle, which is really nice to keep other random stuff in. Okay, so from that center compartment, I just have a tiny thing of Advil and I also keep multivitamins in there. Um, Visine, I get the worst like allergy eyes. Um, they get scratchy and itchy. So especially in Pennsylvania, I always need to have Visine drops with me, the allergy kind, because I never know when my eyes are gonna go crazy. Um, a little Vaseline, and then this little pouch, and just a little, whoops. And then in this little pouch is just this little touch-up powder that I picked up a while ago. I don't know if I showed you guys this. And this is just a Chanel, like, blotting powder almost. This is in the shade 30 Natural, and that's what I have in all of their powders. I like this because it's tiny. It's compact and it just easily fits into all of my bags and it comes in this cute little dust pouch. So I keep that with me. The last thing I had in my bag is just this little teasing brush. I got this at Sally's, it's super easy. You can just tease your hair, comb it out, whatever. I use this all the time for my daughter as well so that just stays in my purse as well. Okay guys, so that's everything that's in my amazing like shoulder tote bag. I love this because these straps are long enough that they go right over your shoulder. It's so easy to put on. You can just kind of throw it to the back of you and it's completely out of the way. It's really comfortable to carry. It's at a really nice height where I can easily be hands-free either with my daughter or like talking to people. And it was super easy just to go in here, pull out my resume and give it to whoever I was speaking with. Um, so I would definitely recommend this bag as kind of like a sophisticated work bag or just an everyday purse. I really, really love it and can't say enough good things about it. I've been seriously happy with the quality and how it's held up. Like I said, I've had this since December and it's now June. I feel like it's been a really, really good bag and you can get a great deal on these too from Henry Bendel. I will link this and a few of my other favorite colors from them online. It's really beautiful. The leather is just super, super soft and really pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what's in my bag for a career fair or like a job interview. I hope this was helpful or interesting to you guys. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the description box down below. I would love to chat with you guys. I hope you're all doing great and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.